So moving on to the recent uh, market movements with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, there is a uh, sure. quite a big dip today as El Salvador uh, enacted their legal tender, Bitcoin as legal tender. So uh, do you think that uh, the bull run is over for this season or you think, uh, or do you think we're headed with the, with the price action? Uh, no, I don't think the bull run is over at all. I think um, I, I understand why some people are having a little sell off right now. I might even also think it's a little bit of market manipulation for people to get in a little bit lower as the bull run continues on. Um, we're still in the same bull run that, you know, was running six months ago um, before that kind of larger dip around that time that happened um, when Bitcoin was, you know, approaching like 60,000, those levels. And then, you know, we saw a significant, you know, like 50% drop. Um, we're still in the same bull run as then. Uh, I think we just had a pullback, like it's like cor correction. Um, people are taking advantage of the news in El Salvador to sell off a little bit and maybe try to buy back in a little lower. And then maybe some people who think it actually is that serious that they're, you know, accepting as tender that they think, um, oh, it's, you know, it's taking away anonymity. It's um, the people in El Salvador are going to be required to register their wallets and stuff. And I think those, those are kind of the main reasons why people are thinking, oh, this isn't good. But um, hmm. I don't think... I don't think we're anywhere close to stopping and I don't think those issues are really going to be very prevalent moving down the line. Yeah. Yeah. I was super suspicious what happened. I mean, as soon as they enact le the legal tender laws and then boom, it drops like a, like a rock. And then I don't know yeah. what caused that, but <laughs> it sounds like a good thing. Right. But I think that, um, one of the main reasons is like I had said before, taking away, the, um, kind of the core, values of like what cryptocurrency was built on you know they're in el salvador i was reading a little bit about like the rules and stuff and you know you're gonna have to like register your wallet like to your name and everything so the anonymity is being taken away um it's becoming a little bit more regulated which people don't want to see in cryptocurrency like full regulation